Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this episode specifically about not settling. Here's what I mean. Just the other day, I was playing golf with a buddy of mine, Dan, and Dan and I mm, played about once or twice a year. So we hadn't seen each other for some time. And I knew that Dan had split up with a gal about eight months ago. So he's single and he's out looking. So I asked him, hey, how's your love life? How's the dating scene doing? And he says, oh, it's pretty good. I said, are you seeing anybody? He goes, yeah, I've been seeing this gal for about the last two months. Oh, great, two months, so things must be going well. He says, well, yeah, they are for the most part. I'm like, for the most part? <laughs> what do you mean? He says, well, you know, she's got this really nice body and I think she's very cute and we have some good times together. I'm like, well, but? He says, well, she seems to always nitpick what I say. Okay, so she nitpicks what you say. Give me an example, Dan. And he says, well, the other day, we were out shopping and she wanted a sweater. And I said, well, gosh, this one, this one's blue. And this is what you're looking for, right? And she says, no, Dan, that's gray. And I said, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. He says, well, Patrick, it happens a lot. Like every day she's correcting me and she's correcting me over these little nitpicky things. Oh, well, have you talked to her about it? Well, no, I really haven't. It's kind of early in the relationship and I just want to kind of see how things go. Yeah, I get that. Okay, well, is that the only thing that's bothering you? He says, no. No? Okay. What else could it be? And he says, well, she's not a great listener. Okay, I mean, Dan, I, I know that you've seen and you've talked sometimes about long stories and you're a little long-winded, maybe a little bit like me. I said, but what do you mean she's not a good listener? He says, well, I'll be talking about a subject, maybe about something I'd done that day, maybe about my day at work. And she'll just cut me off and start off on this entirely different tangent. Like, wow. Okay. So, Dan, you know, to me, to me, those are the deal breakers. If you're not a good communicator, especially a good listener, how do you expect to have a good relationship? And he says, well, Patrick, you know, there's so many things I do like about her. You know, it's it's been lonely these last eight months. I, you know, Dan, I, I get the loneliness. Absolutely. But. What I, want, what I want to mention to you, Dan, and I tried to shake them a little bit, it's like, you don't want to settle. That may be why some of us men are divorced. Maybe we settled back 10, 20 years ago. Or maybe we evolved or maybe things change, which of course happens. But the reality, guys, is if there are certain things on your checklist that you have to check off and they're deal breakers, Make sure you check them off. To me, somebody who doesn't listen and always has to be right isn't a friend of mine. Guys, I hope this video has helped you realize that you are good, that you have great potential, and that you can find, without settling, you can find the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. There's some great free content on my channel that's got some great ideas on how you can get this much closer to finding the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.